and uh, we'll go ahead and start with Stephanie. Stephanie, if you would go ahead and unmute yourself, please, for Dr. Khan. Hello, Dr. Khan. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. Uh, so I am um, 38 years old, and I ended up in the emergency room this year um, with some so high blood pressure and tachycardia that I believe was induced by dehydration. And they have me on um, amlodipine and metropolol for those two things. Um, what are the chances of me being able to reverse this with diet and get off of those medications? Because I know that you mentioned in your presentation that inflammation worsens the condition. And I think a lot of these drugs cause inflammation. Um, so, so what are my chances of, of, of being able to rectify this with lifestyle? Well, I'll give general answers, but they are specific to you. Um, you know, lifestyle change is hard work. I mean, it's emptying the freezer, the refrigerator, the pantry. It's getting recipes. It's finding 10, 15 things you like to eat, 20 things you like to eat. It's learning to be careful in restaurants and carry out. Uh, it's hard work to get 30 minutes of exercise in every day. And I could give you a two hour talk on trying to get your sleep upgraded. It's hard to lose weight and very often, but you know, if you're committed to doing all of that, either on your own or with a trainer or with somebody you can rely on, I would certainly urge you go whole food plant-based. Don't go paleo and keto based on the science and my vast experience. It's possible. I, I won't agree with you that those drugs cause inflammation. They do have side effects, but uh, so do lots of other things. They don't have lethal side effects. So, you know, I don't know if this is being driven by anxiety and stress and meditation and breathing and yoga and good sleep and nature and fitness and music and prayer. I don't know if this is being driven by high blood pressure, which is possible to control a lifestyle alone. You know, people would go to Mr. Nathan Pritikin's center in Santa Monica and there's still one in Miami. And three weeks later, they'd come out off all blood pressure medicines. And people do that now with Dr. Furman's program in California and True North program. Now these aren't easily accessible or inexpensive programs. But the point is there are people that, you know, a dramatic shift in your diet, watching your salt, watching your processed foods, watching your sugars, uh, get some fitness and sleep. So I'd actually be hopeful that you don't need medicine long-term, but don't think it's gonna be easy. Gear up for a war on your prior lifestyle. Thanks, Dr. Khan. Up next, we have Amanda. Amanda, if you'd go ahead and unmute yourself, please. Hi, Dr. Khan. It's really great to always hear you speak. Thank you. Um, I met you in Michigan a few years ago at a veg fest. It was just phenomenal. Um, I'd like your opinion as a cardiologist. Um, generally speaking, the for someone who has a lot of weight to lose, what are your opinions between weight loss surgery and a whole a whole food plant based diet? And if if you could, with the whole food plant-based diet, should it be like really low fat with like no nuts or avocados? Um, what are your thoughts uh, between the two for someone who has a lot of weight to lose? Thank you. Um, yeah. And, you know, there obviously are risks to bariatric surgery. I'm not a bariatric surgeon. I don't really run a bariatric surgery center or bariatric medicine center. Um, but there, there, you know, there's that hope, wow, you know, one-stop shop and over the next three to four months, I'm probably gonna lose a significant amount of weight, which is reasonably predictable. And, you know, for the person that's literally suffering consequences from obesity, type two diabetes, joint problems, blood pressure, maybe heart disease, and just has exhausted, you know, all other avenues, um, a well done gastric sleeve can be on the agenda. Now saying that I haven't referred anybody for that kind of surgery in probably 10 years, but uh, the medical science that the risk of type two diabetes or the control of type two diabetes and blood pressure and maybe longevity are improved with modern bariatric surgery has actually expanded. But God knows uh, there are people that just don't feel good after that kind of approach. And it's not a one-stop panacea without any possibility of um, side effects. 
I mean, plant-based diets are, you know, most recently, uh, Dr. Neil Bernard's, Bernard's group published a 16-week randomized study Mediterranean diet. Great diet, way better than the average American diet versus a whole food plant-based diet. And there was dramatically more weight loss with the whole food plant-based diet. Now, Dr. Barnard always says no or low oil. Uh, Dr. Sh uh, not Dr. I'll call her doctor. Dr. Chef AJ calls it the no SOS salt oil sugar diet. If you're looking for weight loss, that's where you've got to be a little bit more rigid and a little bit more quote extreme in your choices. So uh, you can't, you know, you can pack in. It's not all calories in, calories out and avocados a whole lot healthier than a donut of the same calorie content. But um, you know, that's where you really probably want to toe the line more. And it's not going to be a dramatic, wow, I had surgery four weeks ago and I'm down 38 pounds. There's a few people that lose 20, 30 pounds on a whole food plant-based diet in a month. There's not many. The famous um, Penn Gillette in the book Presto, which I'd urge you to read. It's such a great book on weight loss, psychologically and societally, uh, is a great book. Presto is the name of the book. But I would urge you, if you've, if you've never done I'm going to take from May 1st to August 1st, 90 days. I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to have oatmeal for breakfast. I'm going to have a giant salad like they fed people on the Biggest Loser show for lunch and maybe with balsamic vinegar, red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar. And I'm going to have uh, a veggie chili or a vegetable soup for dinner every damn day for 90 days. See what happens. I think you're going to be pleased with the results.